Hello again. Say hi. Oh, hi. Obviously, you can tell I have company today. This is my bae. His name is Jesus, a.k.a. Jesus, a.k.a. Chucho. Hello, Chucho. Hi, world. Well, anyway. Sorry that we took a hiatus. We were taking a little break trying to, you know, do big things, uh, get a career, graduate school, move. Now that all of those things are checked off, now we are back to shopping, I guess, or trying to. <laughs> he shook his head, yes. So on this episode, I guess we're going to be looking at an APC pouch that I purchased, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple of months ago? In December. December. So I purchased it in December, and as you can tell by all of my tabs up here with the exclusion of Nike, is that I had quite a tough time looking for it and actually finding the website. I purchased it from Essence.com, which I think I've already mentioned is one of my favorite websites to just browse and buy stuff, but only when it's on sale because it's very expensive and they no longer carry the bag on the website. See? So after a quick Google search, well, maybe like a five minute Google search, I found it. And it is the APC, as you can see right there, name, because I can't speak French, so you can read it. <laughs> It's a great bag. It's an okay bag. I think it's a great bag just because it's <laughs> it's rugged in the sense that it doesn't scratch easily. It's really nice leather. The only thing is that I noticed that after a couple of raindrops fell on it, it bubbled up a little bit. So it's it's actually raw leather. It's tanned, but it's um it the pores are open so it'll suck in the leather as soon as the drop falls in it if you don't wipe it off and it doesn't stain it but what it does is that it lifts up the leather itself so it looks really kind of funky uh and the front for some reason i think is a little bit like a it seems like it might be a different leather a little bit tougher because the tu the front was wet but the rear was the one that actually was affected and there's no writing on the rear of the pouch itself I don't know what's going on with that picture because that must be like a two-year-old holding that pouch. <laughs> because it's because not it's, that big. It's not that big. Well, yeah, she's wearing like flat Mary Janes. So, yeah, it's probably like a six-year-old girl. <laughs> it's definitely not that big. Uh, so, again, it's a really nice leather, beautiful zipper. It has like a silver plated or whatever, but it looks solid. It slides nice yeah, side to side nice. it's almost like the venk uh book bag that i had that yeah. that's like one of the best zippers that i've ever used i think this is right up there with it as well only thing i did notice and it's very very small is that on one of the zipper teeth i guess the plating came off and you can see the um i guess whatever it's made of if it's i don't know what a zipper is usually made of maybe brass brass i guess yeah i guess it could be brass um but yeah like just one of the little zipper teeth just like peeled off everything else is like the silver plated but that one's just brass so it kind of looks like somebody punched their tooth out or you have a cavity in that one tooth um i put everything in there my headphones my keys your phone my phone my swiss army knife a lighter i don't smoke but i keep a lighter just in case you're in the forest or something <laughs> Um, Did you mention your pocket knife? My pocket knife. Yeah, I keep that in there too. Originally, it was 178 Obviously, I didn't pay that. I paid a lot less than that because I did pay a lot less than that because I did get it on ever since. This is all great. It's alternative to using that other one that I have that you gave me for Christmas. Just because. Oh, okay. Just because. Wow, it's a really nice bag. That's, wow. Okay. That was, that's the one I want next just because. Thanks. So it's an alternative to using the um, the pochette, I believe. I think it's called. Because I have that large pochette, but I feel bad taking that out in the rain. Because even though it is just canvas, that little tag at the end. Go up. The little tag at the end is that natural vachetta. This one? Or that one? It's not this one. No. That's the Pochette Voyage or Voyage. 
Uh, I don't even know if they have any. I mean... Oh, they, they have nicer ones. They do, but they're also a lot more expensive. Mm, yeah, I guess they don't have the original... Uh, let's see. They have it in Taiga leather. But it's an alternative to carrying that around because that, if you get it scratched or if something happens, if you drop it, it's going to hurt. Yeah, that's $1,000. This one, on the other hand, can be found for as low as, well, currently $125, but on a good day, you can find it at $60. And it's just as sturdy, if not sturdier. It might be a little bit tighter, but only because it's like a slimmer profile. The other one has the gusseted side, so it expands a little bit. And this one is just kind of like, what do you call that? You're the one with the design uh, degree. Concave. Concave or convex? Whichever one. What's the? It looks like two turtle shells put together. So when you put it to the side, you they like pop out of each side. Mm -hmm. Maybe like an inch or two. No, more like three inches. No. Okay. Well, we'll have to take those measurements. Uh, and so far, it's been. Really good. I use it every day. I throw it everywhere. The back does get scratched up just a teeny tiny bit. But that's really all I can say. Uh, I'll be posting some pictures of the actual item at the end of this actual commentary. And you guys can let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll be posting a little bit more often just because we now have a nicer collection to show off. So have a great day. Bye. Bye.